Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another back to school video in which I'm going to cover how to take notes in fast paced STEM classes. This is an art that I've perfected over the years and so I'm gonna give you all of my tips and tricks on how to take the best notes during your classes. So the number one thing I have to tell you is draw instead of describe whenever possible. If your professor is describing something to you like a distillation column, draw it out instead of writing it down. It's going to be way more time effective and it's also going to help you remember a lot better because we are visual creatures. If you look at a drawing and you're drawing something out, you're gonna be way more likely to remember what it is later on when you like are taking an exam and you see something that's like, oh, a distillation column of this height and this diameter, blah, 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 blah. You can then remember the drawing that you did during class and go like, oh, I know how to do this problem. In the same kind of vein as drawing, don't worry about color coding yet. Color coding is great and it can be an amazing study tactic, but for now, in fast paced classes, stick to only one color. And I say that because if you're trying to switch colors here and there, it's gonna get really confusing. You're gonna get left behind. Trust me, I've been there. If you really want to color code, what you can do is take your notes in black pen and then after class, when you're reviewing your notes or going over any questions that you have, you can use like a highlighter or a colored pen to color code then. But during class, don't color code. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes professors get kind of carried away and they don't mind being brought back down to earth. If a professor is lecturing really, really quickly, it's not out of line for you to raise your hand and ask him to go a little bit more slowly. Generally, professors are very nice about that. And so if you ask them to go a little bit more slowly or to repeat themselves, they'll get the hint and they'll go a little bit more human paced. But if that's not your style, which I totally understand, you can always consult with a classmate after class. In a classroom of like 30 or 20 people, someone is bound to have understood what the professor was saying. And so if you have a question, maybe consult in the class group me or group text or ask someone after class. Something really key is that professors do not waste time writing down things that aren't important. If a professor is writing something down on the board or on a dot cam, you need to be writing it down because I guarantee it's something very important. Professors want you to do well and they want you to be prepared for their exams and quizzes. So look out for hints that they give you for exams and quizzes. I have had so many times where a professor has gone over a concept and been like, hmm, that would be a really great quiz question. And then all of us scramble to write down the example. Always, always, always write down examples. Examples are your best friend in STEM classes because examples is when the theory gets put into context into real world application. So examples are something that you should always write down. Also, really easy tip, but abbreviate whenever possible. Instead of writing distillation column, write DC and make a note of it somewhere on the page that DC equals distillation column. Simple but effective. If your professor is giving like a long definition, I keep going back to the distillation column example and I'm sorry, but if a professor is giving you like a really long definition, like for example, flooding velocity and you can't get all of it down, don't stress out, the internet exists. You can always go back and look it up later or ask a friend. The best time to ask a question is during class in the moment when it's happening. Most professors are very open to answering questions and so don't be shy about raising your hand and asking a question. Generally, don't wait until office hours unless your question is really specific or really complicated or it's a personal question. Now, I personally follow the school of thought that there is no need to recopy your notes after class. There are some people that will take really messy notes and then wanna recopy it later to make it like pretty and color-coded, which is totally fine, but I don't think that it's the most efficient use of your time, especially if you're a STEM student and you have a ton of work to do. Instead, if you use my cheat sheet method, I find that recopying your notes is just doing more work than necessary. If you just create a cheat sheet, then there's no need to recopy your notes. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about for the cheat sheet method, I will list below the video in which I talk all about how to create an amazing cheat sheet to study for exams with. But I think those are all the tips that I had for you on how to take notes in fast-paced STEM classes. Let me know what your tips are. Even if you're not in STEM classes, I think these tips are still really applicable to any kind of class that you could be taking. So that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.